What is up, you guys? It's your boy Rob Hollow Avarice. Uh, back again, and today we are going to be reacting to the PlayStation State of Play for today, Wednesday, March 9th, 2022. We are only three minutes out. Uh, yeah, good. All right. Make sure my mic is good. Uh, yeah. All right, yeah. We got a lot of stuff coming out for Sony, so I'm curious what they're going to touch on. Um, for PS5, there are a couple games I could see them. I could see them mentioning Horizon. It did just come out. It's been out for a few weeks now. It's looking good. Uh, I... Hope we're going to get something for God of War. That's my big one. Ragnarok. Still supposedly coming out this year. Um, let's see. Gran Turismo. Uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. That There's definitely going to be something for Ghostwire because that's out later this month. I think that's out on the 25th. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. I don't know if we'll see anything. Uh, I, I'm expecting smaller games after that. I'm expecting those to be two of the big games. Um, yeah, that's... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if we see stuff for, like, other games, like, non-exclusives... Oh, you know, we could probably, maybe we'll see something for Spider-Man. I doubt it. Spider-Man uh, 2. But I would really like that. Yeah, Gran Turismo just came out, right? Elden Ring just came out, obviously, but that's not exclusive. Uh, Ghostwire, uh, GTA 5 is re-releasing, uh, Forspoken was coming out in May, but it got pushed back a few months, so maybe they might bring up Forspoken, uh, da -da -da, Babylon's Fall, which... Ghostwire Tokyo. Yeah, I'm thinking those will probably be the big ones to watch. I'm curious if they're going to do anything with maybe like a PlayStation VR 2 or something more akin to that. All right, let's uh, just a few seconds out. So let's get ready to give this a watch. Uh, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, give me a subscribe, help me out. If you're watching this on Twitch, give me a follow. Playing Elden Ring right now, really liking it. And here we go. What do we got? Starting right off with a game. Nope, starting right off with a PS5 trailer. Good PS5. The year 2043. today's dinosaur forecast a dinosaur outbreak will soon occur residents in the oh, what? area have been evacuated and a team of exo fighters has been dispatched robots versus dinosaurs a vortex warning has been issued please remain indoors I mean, won't most of them die on impact? 
they're dropping from that high, a lot of them will just... That's a lot. It's Capcom? Okay. What the hell are you doing, Capcom? I make a sense of this situation. You've been living in a chance of reactors for two years. All I wanted was to be IBS's top pilot. IAS's latest dinosaur forecasts add XOC technology. We're able to keep human casualties. Dinosaur forecast. I'm sorry. All right, different style mech. Are they different characters? You could switch between mech suits. Cool. There we go. Something different. All we've seen so far are raptors and pterodons. Triceratops, a T Rex. It's interesting. It looks kind of silly. I don't know if it's my jam yet. Exo Primal. Another Exo Fighter recruit, right? Welcome to Ivius. Coming in 2023. Sure. Play returns with more announcements and updates for your favorite games. Final game content subject to change. We just saw the debut of Exo Primal, a brand new IP from Capcom. It hits PS4 and PS5 next year. Next up, let's get some eye-popping updates for some fan favorites launching soon. Yep, there we go. Ghostwire coming later this month. It looks super weird, and I'm kind of digging it. The hand sigils, we've seen them doing that for a while now. It's not going to end till he stopped. KK and Akito looking for Mari against all these urban legends and yokai. Like, that was a Yuki Ona, I think. Cool. Face the unknown. Yep, March 25th. This is a uh, Strangers uh, in Paradise, right? The Final Fantasy One prequel. Yeah. Uh, na, 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 na. March 18th. Later today, visit PlayStation Store to download a new demo for Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin. Now, let's jump into the world of Forspoken. Demo so free for that. Gameplay. And Forspoken, which did get pushed back, I heard. But every time we've seen Forspoken has looked yeah. dope. And, uh... Everything here wants to kill you, kind of way. I particularly recall the crazy looking variety of magic and the 
really good looking uh, mobility. Like a game with good mobility. Easy to, fun to, not only easy to move around, but fun to move around. Yeah, there we go. All right. Mm hmm. Yep. Cool monster design. Want to get a bit of surfboard into fire spiding. Is that like magma? Like, I'm on top of the world. let's finish this. Cool. Uh, the other voice was her talking bracelet or something, right? It was the, the sentient thing. So yeah, it was May, I believe. It got pushed back to October 11th. That was a new look at the sprawling PS5 adventure Forspoken from Luminous Productions. Let's check out some 6v6 action in Gundam Evolution, a fast-paced multiplayer shooter I'm... coming to PS4 and PS5. I can appreciate a good Gundam fighting game. I've never been a huge fan of them. I would never bemoan anyone. I have a model of a Zaku in my room, and there's a Zaku right there. These games do have crazy customization, usually. Um, so yeah, again, this I, I know for a fact this isn't for me, but it's cool. Uh, three out of four. Exoprimal, I don't know if Exoprimal is for me. I kind of want to see more of it. I don't know if it's going to be like a hero style uh, action game or what, but Ghostwire, Stranger of Paradise, and Forspoken. Those three are definitely for me. Although, with the edge, the incredible amount of edginess Stranger of Paradise has. We'll see. I've never played the original Final Fantasy, and maybe I might want to, and then do that. The Turtles Cowabunga Collection? That's yes for NES! In the arcade? Oh. Because... Get a slice of the action. Tournament fighters. The oh, there's the arcade game. Turtles in time. Heroes in a half shell. Cowabunga. That was one of the very first games I ever played in my entire life was, I think I have it. It's in a bin by my door. Um, the original NES cartridge for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I just remember the one move we all did where we played as Donatello and we just down swiped uh, Bebop. While standing on top of the barrel. Kaiju Brawler Gigabash comes to PS4 and PS5 later this year. Kaiju Brawler Next, a Gigabash. Fan favorite fighting game makes a beautiful and bizarre return. As a fighting game. Oh, da, 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 da. 
This is, uh, that's pretty JoJo looking. Yep. Let's assemble the unit. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it, then. I see the world, though. This looks like parts one through six. Yep, we got the, uh, car. ACDC. We got the pillar men. Oh, wow. Some of so we have Ripple or Hamam. Jojo Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle R. wonder if, uh, you know what, uh, Yang Ye is reacting to this. I'm gonna go watch his reaction later. Because he voices a character in JoJo. Like, and I'm kind of curious to see his reaction to that. Gruesome. I like the shadows. Rick to Yomi. We've seen a trailer for this before. It's very artistic. It's very... Kurosawa-esque in terms of some of the filmography. I want to see more. Oh wow, what? Was Ghost Samurai? Wait, were you killed when you got stabbed through and... This is the afterlife maybe? Yeah. You were killed and you're fighting to get back to life? Is Yomi... Dungeon. Right, Yomi is the underworld, right? Yomi... He's trapped. Yomi is the Japanese word for the underworld. Yomi may also refer to that, meaning Fighting. leading. I think it's dying. Returnal. Returning. Always the same. Still have yet to do Returnal, but I've heard top notch things. I heard it was contender for game of the year. Fighting co op. Now I stand before the endless tower. I climb the DLC I for Eternal. Pushing the boulder upward. Boulders rolling uphill. I climb. The challenge begins again. The ball is rolling uphill, gentlemen. But I fight on. Through the infinite. A Sisyphean trial. Seeking ascension. My release is within this tower. And I will find it. Returnal. Does the DLC have a name? The expansion Ascension. How 
Was that March 22nd? And a mysterious new survival mode to Returnal Ascension. A free update hitting this March. Yep. So now it's almost is time March. to sign off. But before we do, let's get a first look at two brand new games coming from Square Enix. Yes, please. Is this really what you want? And you are certain that what we are doing is best for the people of the kingdom? Yes. I suppose it would, in a sense. True. Yes. It made me wonder, am I still that same person? You. The era of myths gives way to an era of great turmoil. The continent was ravaged by the devastating war between the Empire and the Alliance. However, one nation remained unaffected by the chaos. The Kingdom of Alatane. Ward of the Orgus looked destined to have its soil stained with the blood of battle. We've finally been called up. We're up against the Empire's main army. Oh, that was we the flaps. We are to eradicate every last Imperial who comes ashore. Keep focused. Come on, everyone. Turn-based. Or no, sure. Die. Okay. Do you really have such a yearning for war? I can't comprehend it. Interesting looking strategy game. What, is there a dragon there? Is that Bahamut? So then, what shall we do now? We're going to retake it. This is our chance while they're all assembled. We should send so. our best and crush them. That's right. All the more reason to avoid bloodshed. JRPG strategy, always fun. I'm liking some of the visual effects. Danger. I suppose it is the only way for us to survive. A Dracolich. The Dio Field Chronicle. Dio? That's also this year. We're still probably not going to see anything for Final Fantasy VII Remake 2 for a while. In an unjust world, what will if you the choose? Of fight still lingers within you, then accept my offer and join me. Naruto running. Oh, we were waiting for Ragnarok. This is clearly it. It's not Santa Monica, it's Square Enix now. Again, I don't really know what I'm watching. I'm kind of liking it. It might be a Valkyrie Elysium. Your efforts to remain undetected are lacking. Reveal yourself. Who are you? Sure. That's all for today. We'll see you soon with another state of Nothing for God of War? Really? Alright. Alright, that was a an odd one. 
Started out strong. Started out strong. Exoprimal, whatever, but it started out with Ghostwire, Stranger of Paradise, and Forspoken, which I was on board with. That was bam, bam, bam. Uh, dinosaurs raiding from the sky, you fight them with giant robots, is a weird one. Yeah, but that's not coming out till next year, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to ignore it and pretend it didn't exist. Instead, we started our thing with later this month, Ghostwire. I'm down. I understand that God of War is probably going to be a fall game right before the holiday. It'll probably be the big holiday release this year. So you want to do like save that for like E3? Sure. Right? Yeah. Uh, so Ghostwire looks interesting. It looks like a cool action game. Like a, a trippy action horror kind of deal. I'm on board. 100% gonna do it. Then we did Stranger Paradise. Again, prequel to the OG Final Fantasy, which I have never played. I've done six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, two, fourteen, reborn, and fifteen. I did everything six on. I still I've never played one through five for Final Fantasy. Um for spoken. Looks dope. I've, I've been saying, uh, I, I've been on board with it ever since it was like, what was it, like Alethea or yeah, whatever its code name was. But it just looks, it looks quick and fun to play. Like the variety of magic spells look cool. And we've seen a surfboard now, and we've seen you rocket jumping and air bouncing and a lot of cool stuff and pillars and like that. So cool. I am 100% on board with Forspoken. You know, delay it. I'd rather have played a little bit later because I got a lot of games coming out soon. So I'm fine with this being pushed back to October. If it improves the quality of the game, I say go for it. I've always been of that camp of the it's better to push it back than have to fix it later. And then after that point, the uh, uh you know, there was uh, Turtles. Just a lot of OG Turtle games. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Arcade. Yep. Yeah. Just cool. Turtles 2, Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan, Turnin' Fighters, Manhattan Project Turtles 3, Red Dog Rescue, Turtles 2, the arcade game. I think that's the one I've played on the right. I also played Turtles in Time, but cool. Always good multiplayer brawlers. We're getting a, a solid looking JoJo fighter. With a weird cast of characters. Uh, yeah, right there. They have the, the. It's not just characters with stands, it's the friggin' Killer Men, too. Or for Rohan. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. There he is. Fuji. I'm curious how a lot of these characters, like, yeah, how do you. 
do Haman and, and Ripple and all of that with stand battles. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Lisa, Lisa, hey. And I think after that, it was just tiny cool stuff that didn't really spark everything in me. Like, it looks cool. Trek to Yomi, the Returnal DLC. Um, Eofield and Val Valkyrie Elysium are just new. Um, square titles. Cool. Uh, yeah, I thought it was fine. Not their best. Definitely not bad. Started off stronger than it ended, though, and I was hoping for God of War, but I get why it wasn't included in it. And I was just... What did we get that was new? New was one... Was Exoprimal, Gundam, Turtles, JoJo... The DLC and the two new Square Enix games. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight. There's the Kaiju game. So eight out of 10, 11. Eight out of 12 are new things. That's not bad. I can't complain with a lack of amount. Just wish it was something a little more... I get it's the you got to cater to all types and there's a lot of different games there that they did. So I think that's pretty cool. Overall, good state of play, Sony. Not great, but good. Uh, guys, that's it for now. Uh, tell me what you guys thought down in the comments. I'll get back to you and I will be seeing you guys until next time.